Guys, uh, you would not believe how uh, much effort it took for me to actually get the controller to actually work on this game, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, for some reason, um, the uh, on Steam, um, it interferes with the input controller. So for some reason, it just won't work with any controller right out of the box. It just won't work. And then... Um, I tried different suggestion from the um, um, from the guy from um, from uh, uh, Square Soft or Square Enix, and they they said basically to disable the um, uh, the um, uh, Steam controller. And I tried doing that. I did everything it it wanted, but it just would not. Um, let me uh, use the controller and it's so annoying because it's so frustrating because I couldn't get it to work uh, yesterday now sure I can play with the mouse and keyboard but I actually beat this game on on a controller uh, on my PlayStation 4 so I mean I'm just used to playing these type of game on a controller anyway so it came down to that uh, you have to do a red edit and then go into um, the software setting for input, like a, uh, or a, like input, and basically change it to zero. And then voila, it totally works now. And so, um, yeah, just very, very frustrating for like a AAA game that just won't even work with the controller. And um, you know uh, the. Uh, Square Enix or Enix or Edios uh, Montreal, which is the maker of the game, they blame um, Steam, and there was there was no patch basically um, to, to make it work. So if you're in the same situation, uh, uh, I'm gonna link to um, you know how you can uh, get this to work if, if, you're, if you're interested in, in using the controller. A place they control it to uh, play the game, but yeah. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna basically. Um, I've already beaten the game, so I'm probably not gonna. Um, uh, I, have, I have like a hundred other games that um, that uh, I gotta play, so um, I just wanted to test out the the graphics and basically just gonna uh, see how how much better it is uh, with uh, against the PlayStation 4. Uh, already, I can tell you that um, it this looks a lot uh, better than, than the PlayStation 4. And <clears throat> the other thing is um, uh, it loads a lot faster because this is actually on a um, NVMe um, um, uh, drive. Um, but yeah, so this, um, if you're familiar with all the Tomb Raider game, uh, to, uh, the first Tomb Raider, the second Tomb Raider, and then uh, the, the, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and then... Uh, this one's the last one, the Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, of all the, the three games, I really like the second one, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. That's really good. But, but the third one, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is the game that we're seeing right now, um, it, it, there's a huge improvement in, in graphics. Uh, I mean, just look at the backdrop. Look at this leaves right here, uh, how she's blend in with the mud. I mean, graphically, it looks just amazing. Anyway, so we're gonna, just going to do a... Um, a um, kind of like a, a graphics a run a benchmark uh, just to take a look at it now it's actually just set as the default uh, based on the rating that it sees that which is the 1660 ti card and uh, so basically it's just going to default to the best resolution which i'm going to accept just because uh, you know and, and already it's uh, defaults to ultra widescreen so it support ultra widescreen right out of the box so that's really awesome uh, so we're gonna take a run it, and um, it's probably gonna fare all right. I, I don't think um, uh, because there's uh, this technology uh, called ray tracing uh, that is uh, was introduced, and this game actually took advantage of it. Uh, my card actually doesn't support ray tracing, so I don't think it really matters. But um, uh, I think Nvidia will eventually bring ray trace into all the cards, uh, but at the moment I know that it's only available in the higher 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 end um, cards. All right, so it's running the benchmark. It uh, looks like 60 frames a second. Looks pretty good, and uh, I mean that's pretty decent. Uh, look at her skin. Uh, look at the light in the background. Um, I guess she's walking around. 
no um, stuttering or uh, screen tearing or anything. Uh, this looks pretty good. I mean, uh, um, you know, I played on the PlayStation 4, and I have to say, it, it, this looks a lot better just because the color is more vibrant. And uh, that might have to do with something to with that I'm actually sitting very close to the monitor. Um, but, you know, who knows? Um, Alright, so it looks like the benchmark is done. Or, oh, it's more render, more stuff. Okay. So this looks pretty cool. It's, uh, she's in the forest here. Um, now, graphically, actually, has to render all the trees and the shadows. If you look at the shadows uh, in the bottom there, and the blood stain and uh, the, the birds, everything is like animated. Uh, that thing is moving. That's scary. Uh, the okay, that that's a that frame seems to have skipped a bit. But it looks pretty good. I mean, uh, okay, the light is actually really. I wish I had HDR. Uh, I think that would have been more more awesome. Um, okay, hopefully the, the benchmark is over and we can see the result. Oh my gosh, how long is this benchmark? Um, okay, yeah. I mean, I think now we're looking at distance now. Look at the background, the uh, the mountains and the the, the space, the. Um, uh, buildings and uh, you know more shadows more uh, okay there's some birds flying back there um, now uh, like I said this is the uh, uh, kind of like um, ultra high uh, slash normal setting for uh, shadow of the Tomb Raider so um, I mean look at those trees and uh, the texture I guess if he's paying attention to texture Uh, still doing pretty good. Looks like uh, the average frame is going to be 60. Um, okay, um, yeah, not much else I can say. Uh, uh, if you never played this game, uh, you should definitely check it out. It's currently on sale um, for 50% off. So normally, uh, if it's the base game, $60, you can get it for $30, which... Uh, is a pretty, I think it's pretty good. I mean, uh, especially uh, because you can probably get a lot of enjoyment out of, out of it. And, okay, it looks like the benchmark is over finally. Wow. That was a long benchmark. Uh, much longer than um, many other uh, games I've uh, dealt with in the past. But take a look at the results. Um, uh, frame render 8,900. Average frame is 58. Um, and it, it takes a look at the frame drop to the ratio of the GPU. So I don't, not that much interest, and I just know that I can basically run it, so so it's fine. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So if you're interested, um, um, look at that stereoscopic. I wonder if that's 3D. Yeah. So so if you have a 3D monitor and glasses, you can actually play, play the game in 3D. So that's really cool. But I, my monitor doesn't support that, so that's fine. See, I, I also wish I had HDR because I, I would have turned that on. Uh, that would have been awesome. Um, but yeah, so that's the uh, benchmark for uh, just a typical uh, 1080 game play on a, a NVIDIA um, 1660 Ti card. All right, thanks.